My name is Kyle Rockamore, and I've been asked to take a moment to talk about my story of grace. This is a story that is actually the beginning and not an arrival. Not an arrival at a certain state of piety or a, a state of reverence, but really knowing how inadequate I am and how much I give praise to God for saving me and giving him the praise that he's due. I was born and raised in the church. I've sort of always believed that God existed, but for a long time I thought that it'd be more of a surface relationship. I just never felt good enough. I used to look at some Christians and it looked like they were able to just zoom through life with no fear and with no doubt. And the older I got, the more I felt like I was inadequate especially when I became an adult and had children. I actually felt so inadequate that I didn't think I could lead them towards a, a meaningful relationship with God. We went to church, we did all the road activities that you do, but it was more of, like I said, a, a surface relationship. And to be honest, the reason that I felt that was because something was nagging at me because I didn't really have a true relationship I found this place, City Church, purely uh, by happenstance. A few years ago, my girlfriend was invited to an event called Race and Grace. That caught my attention right there. It's an open forum on uh, racial healing and understanding that was hosted by some place called City Church. I came along with my girlfriend, but I figured this would be a typical church event where people gave lip service to getting to know those not really like us. Man, I was wrong. I was blown away as a, a woman cried during this event and asked for grace from those who may have felt wrong by something she or members of her race had done to offend those of another race. God was actually showing me grace by giving me a different perspective on people's hearts. People whom in the past I quickly dismissed as being inauthentic, right? I felt so encouraged, really encouraged, that real people were having a real dialogue about real issues. For the first time in my life, in an environment that was a church-related environment, I felt like I was at home. That was my moment of grace. Later, I would understand how this authenticity sort of came from a love for Jesus who provided the backbone for the conversation that we were having. I wanted more. After that meeting, my girlfriend and I decided to attend a worship service, just like this one, to see if we would experience what we felt during that forum. It was by far the best service that I had ever experienced. Once again, the grace of God. Ultimately, we decided to make this our church home. Kim and I were married last March of 2018. Uh, by one of the pastors here, and today we're proud to be members of this wonderful body of Christ. Since joining, our family continues to experience God's movement in our lives in a really wonderful, incredible way. A few months ago, we attended a prayer gathering, and before we started, all of us went around the circle, introduced ourselves, and answered the following question. That question is, what's one of your favorite things about City Church? I told everyone there that it's where I discovered what a real relationship with Jesus looks like. Now I know that it's only because of Jesus that my relationship with God can be meaningful in any way at all. Because the truth is, I'm always inadequate, but he's not. I thank God every day for giving his son for my sins. It's a grace that I never deserved.